Hello everyone, how's it going? Today, I will be going over how to install mods into Stardew Valley on Windows in efficient detail. Let me begin by saying that this tutorial is making a few assumptions about you, yes you, the viewer. You own a copy of Stardew Valley on Windows computer. This tutorial is specifically using the Windows operating system, however only minor changes need to be applied for this tutorial to work on other platforms such as Mac, Linux, or even Android. Link number one in the description will take you to the Stardew Wiki outlining those changes. You have a basic knowledge on how to navigate your computer's file system. In this video, we will be using Windows File Explorer to navigate to important folders on our computer. Your computer has a program to extract .zip files, whether it be WinRAR, 7-zip, WinZip, or some other program no one's ever heard of. If you do not have a .zip extractor program, I recommend googling how to extract zip files and following a plethora of tutorials there. If any of these assumptions about you are untrue, you should resolve that before continuing with this tutorial. But with that out of the way, let's begin. The first thing you will need to install mods for Stardew Valley is a program called Smappy, or Stardew Modding API. To get Smappy, head to link number 2 in the description, or simply google Smappy and click the first link, smappy.io. Once there, click the big green download Smappy button, then select direct download. You can select download from Nexus, however I will be going over Nexus mods more later in the video, so we will stick to the direct download for now. Locate the downloaded Smappy installer zip file and move it to either your desktop or a dedicated directory of your choice. Right click the .zip file and select the option to extract here to the current directory. You can now enter the extracted folder and locate and run the install on windows batch file. This will open a command prompt window and prompt you to either enter 1 to install Smappy or 2 to uninstall it. We are trying to install Smappy so we will enter 1 and hit the enter key. This will swiftly install Smappy onto our computer but I highly suggest leaving this command prompt window open for future use in this tutorial as it contains some very important and helpful information. Smappy is now installed on our computer, we can now mod the game to our heart's content. However, I must advise that we do so safely. I recommend that every time you modify your Stardew game such as how we just installed Smappy, or if you wish to add another mod to your game, you create backups of your important save files that you may want to play with your new mods. To do so, find the saves folder on your computer by navigating to percent app data percent backslash Stardew Valley, or just percent app data percent and then finding the Stardew Valley folder. Here you will find your saves folder. Inside the saves folder, copy any saves you wish to back up and paste them into a designated backup location. Now that we know to practice safe Stardew and Smappy is installed, we're good to go ahead and run the modified Stardew Valley game. To find the runnable Smappy, copy the file address from the installer's command prompt window. Do not include the quotation marks or the file name in your selection. You can paste this location into your file explorer navigation bar. Alternatively, you can open up Steam, right click on Stardew Valley, select properties, then local files, and hit the browse button. This will take you directly to the same folder. Locate the Stardew Valley modding API exe file and run it. This will launch another command prompt window, and then the game. To access this runnable file more easily, you can either create a shortcut and put it somewhere like your desktop, or you can configure Steam to run that version itself. In Steam, right click on Stardew and go to properties again, then in launch options under general, paste this entire line from the installer command prompt into the text box. If you've already closed the command prompt, don't worry, simply copy and paste the smappy file location. Paste it in the box, type backslash stardew modding api.exe as capitalized on screen here, surround it in quotations, and then type percent command percent. Close the properties window and run it. Now that we can run Smappy, we can get into installing all of the glorious mods. Nexus Mods, which I mentioned earlier, is essentially the one-stop shop for Stardew Valley mods, as Stardew Valley doesn't have a mods page on the Steam Workshop. Nexus Mods is also link number 3 in the description. On Nexus Mods Stardew Valley section, you can search or browse for mods that you would like in your game. Select the mod you wish to install. This will take you to that mods page. Before we can download the mod, we should review any requirements that the mod may have. Most mods require either Smappy or Content Patcher. 
We already have Smappy, but we will use Content Patcher to explain the mod download process. This mod requires the Content Patcher mod, so let's open this link in a new tab. Here we can see that the Content Patcher only requires Smappy, so we're good to go. Go off to the right and click the Manual Download button. Now, unfortunately, you will need to create a Nexus Mods account in order to download these mods, but it is free to do and it's well worth it. If you've created an account and log in, the manual download button will first show you the required mods to make sure that you're downloading them, but then it will take you to this screen where you can either select slow download or fast download depending on if you have a premium or standard account on Nexus Mods. And voila, you've downloaded your mod! Now that you've downloaded the mod's zip file, you will need to locate it and move it to the mod's folder, which can be found in the directory that the installer pumped out or that the Steam Properties Local Files menu will bring you to. Once your .zip file is in the mods folder, use Extract here as we did with the installer file, and it really is as simple as that, but I will go over how you can be sure that you have what you need. Enter the extracted mods folder and be sure that there is a file called manifest.json. All Stardew mods need a manifest file, and as I said before, a majority of mods will either require Smappy or Content Patcher. For mods that require Smappy and not Content Patcher, be sure that the mods folder contains a file that ends with .dll. If your mod requires Content Patcher, this DLL file will not be needed as the Content Patcher mod itself has that file for it. Instead, Content Patcher mods will need a file called content.json. This is the file that tells Content Patcher what to do. If all of these conditions are met, your mod is successfully installed and ready to be played on Stardew Valley. Let's check it out. We are now here in a save file on which I have installed the Everyone's Datable mod, which, as the name would suggest, allows you to reach up to 10 hearts with every resident of Pelican Town and eventually marry them. This includes such notable characters as Lewis. And who could forget Caroline? A lot of old mods are what are called XNB mods, after the .xnb files that come with the mod, which are intended to replace the game's own XNB files to overwrite them with the mod content. A lot of reskin mods make use of XNB files, which is unfortunate, as the practice of XNB modding is no longer recommended. XNB modding has now been replaced by Content Patcher mods, which functionally do the same thing, only safer. If you find a mod that only contains .xnb files within the mod folder, I recommend following link number 4 in the description to the Stardew Valley wiki page, which has an expansive section linking old XNB mods to newer updated Content Patcher equivalent mods. If you can't find the XNB mods Content Patcher equivalent and really want to use the XNB mod, you can go right ahead, but let me show you how to do so safely. The mods.xnb files are meant to replace the .xnb files found in the Steam Stardew Valley directory in the content folder. You can manually navigate to the .xnb files you wish to replace, or you can type the files names in the search bar, right click on the ones you found, and then click on open file location. Before proceeding to replace these files, please 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 make backups of them. You never know if you'll find a different mod to reskin the same things or if you decide you want to revert to the vanilla textures. If it does get to the point where you want the old vanilla textures back, but you didn't make backups, there is one final failsafe. Open up Stardew Valley's properties menu once again, head to local files, and hit the verify integrity of game files button. This will revert all of the game's files to their vanilla values. This won't delete Smappy or any of your mods, but all files in the content folder, including any other XNB files you may still wish to keep, will be reverted to their vanilla state. If you want to use XNB mods, be sure to do so safely. Thank you everyone so much for watching, I hope you found this tutorial most useful. If you did, please consider leaving a like or even hitting the subscribe button. It's free and it really helps me out. Besides, you can always unsubscribe if you like. If you have any more questions, please direct them to the comment section below, I will do my best to answer them all. I also just wanted to mention that I stream modded Stardew, among other things, over on twitch.tv slash bendymirrors. Here's a sneak peek of what we get up to there. Jamie.
Look! Are you kidding me? What the fuck? If you'd like to come hang out, again, the link is twitch.tv slash bendymirrors. Why not give the channel a follow? You won't regret it. That's all I've got for you today. Have a good one.